welcome to Copperhead Industries. Today we're going to take a look at the Viper Mag. That's Copperhead's pipe and cable locator. The Viper Mag is used to locate underground utilities like active power cables, pipes, metal objects that are buried in the ground, and of course tracer wire, including Copperhead's complete tracer wire system. Before your construction project starts, make sure to locate the underground utilities. You can dial 811 and have a professional locator come out to mark where the underground utilities are to avoid accidental contact with the utilities during your construction project. The standard components of the Viper Mag are the transmitter, the receiver, direct connection cables, a grounding stake, and every Viper Mag comes standard with a soft-sided case to protect the tool when it's not in use. Optional accessories are the hard case to further protect the tool, as well as a signal clamp. The Viper Mag combines active locate frequencies with a ferrous metal detector all in one device, streamlining the locating process and limiting the number of tools that the operator needs to take in the field with them. The transmitter is powered by four D-cell alkaline batteries and to install the batteries, you'll loosen the retaining screws and remove the battery cap from the end of the transmitter and insert the batteries into the transmitter paying special attention that the direction of the batteries match the picture of the battery printed on the housing. You want to make sure that the polarity of the batteries lines up. After the batteries are properly installed, replace the battery cover on the end of the transmitter and hand tighten the retaining screws. To switch the transmitter on, there's the red power button that you press and hold until the light next to the power button illuminates. Select a frequency on the transmitter by pressing the yellow button to toggle through the available options. It's important to make sure the frequency selected on the transmitter matches the frequency on the receiver. So detecting pipe and cables underground is achieved by putting a tone on the target line. The Viper Mag transmitter is capable of achieving that using one of three different methods. The first one is a direct connect method, the second one is induction, and the third one is using signal clamps. When you use the direct connection method, you're directly connecting the transmitter to a utility which is behind me. This is a gas meter and there's a water line right next to it and we're going to put this transmitter in an active tone on the water line. Here are your direct connect cables. What you first do is take your direct connection lead and plug it into your transmitter. Then you'll take the positive lead and connect that directly to the water line or the tracer wire on the water line. Then you'll take your negative or grounding lead and connect it to the grounding stake and put it in the ground ideally 90 degrees to the proposed direction of the line. To put the transmitter into the induction mode you simply disconnect the direct connect cables. Induction mode is done at the highest frequency of 83 kilohertz and once you disconnect the cables off of the end of the transmitter, it'll automatically go into induction mode at that highest frequency. Then you'll set the transmitter at 90 degrees to the proposed direction of the water line. And then with your receiver, making sure that your receiver frequency matches the transmitter frequency, walk at least 15 or 20 paces away from the receiver before you start locating. The reason is because the signal in the air from the transmitter will be a little bit stronger than the signal on the line the closer you are to the transmitter. So once you step 15 to 20 paces away, then the tar signal on the target line will be a little bit stronger than the signal in the air. The third method is the signal clamp method. A signal clamp method is used when tracer wire isn't installed on the target line. To get started, like with the direct connect method, install the signal clamp into the transmitter and then take your clamp and put it around the target line. 
switch on your transmitter and then start locating in the same manner that you would with the direct connect method. So to power the receiver, you use two AA alkaline batteries and I'm going to show you how to insert the batteries into the device. First, unscrew the battery cover, remove the battery cartridge, and then insert the batteries into the cartridge paying special attention that the direction of the battery matches the picture of the battery on the inside of the cartridge. Then insert the cartridge back into the receiver, again making sure that the polarity matches according to the picture on the receiver. To switch on the receiver, press and hold the power button until the ViperMag logo comes on the screen and the receiver is on. The ViperMag receiver has five different modes or frequencies. A metal detection mode, a 60 hertz frequency, a 512 hertz frequency, an 8.19 kilohertz frequency, and an 83 kilohertz frequency. In order to change the mode or frequency on the receiver, there's a mode frequency selection button. When you hold down the mode frequency selection button, you'll get into the mode frequency menu. Then simply use either the minus or the plus sign to toggle through, hit the mode frequency selection button again to choose that mode and get back into the active locating screen. We'll hit the uh, frequency mode selection button, toggle to metal, hit the mode frequency selection button again, and now we're in metal mode. There's a volume feature on the receiver that's either on or it's off. Right now it's muted. When I turn it on, you start to hear the tone in the metal mode. This is a cast iron lid of a test station that we'll put on the ground to demonstrate how the Viper Mag in fierce metal mode can detect a cast iron lid. As you wave the wand over the cast iron, it'll pick up. We'll turn the gain up a bit. The Viper Mag also detects polarity, indicating by either a plus or a minus symbol on the locating screen. That helps the operator define the shape of a metal object that's in the ground. Another way that you might use polarity is when trying to find a cast iron lid of, say, a test station or a valve box that's located near a chain link fence. The metal detector will locate both the chain link and the cast iron lid, making it difficult to find the lid. But by looking at the polarity, the receiver will show south polarity at the bottom of the chain link fence, and it'll show north polarity when you reach the top of the cast iron lid. So now we're going to take a look at locating with the 60 hertz frequency to find an active power cable. So as we mentioned before, we will press and hold the mode frequency selection button, toggle to 60 hertz, press the mode frequency selection button again to get back into the locating menu. Right now I've got the volume muted. I'm going to unmute it and then we're going to make a scan along this line to try to find the active power cables that are coming out of the building. So there's your power line. First we have to hook the transmitter up to the water line. So next to the gas meter is the tracer wire for the water line. Hook the positive lead up to the tracer wire and the grounding lead to the grounding stake. Then we'll switch the transmitter on. and make sure that the frequency, by pressing the frequency button, 
is on the 8.19 frequency setting. Then we'll turn the receiver on, press the frequency mode selection button, and toggle over to 8.19 kilohertz. Press the mode frequency selection button again to choose that frequency and get back into the locating screen. And as long as this is receiving a good signal, I'll leave the gain where it's at. The further away I get from the power source, I may need to turn the gain up a bit. So first we'll do a sweep, try to find the line. So obviously right here is the line. So the Viper Mag receiver also has a feature called push button depth to identify the depth of the utility that you're locating. Push button depth is available on the 8.19 kilohertz frequency. So make sure that the receiver is set at that frequency as well as the transmitter. First, pinpoint the location of the utility and the direction that it's running. And then you'll put the receiver straight up and down and then a quick press of the mode frequency selection button will show you the depth of the utility. Then the direction. A quick press on the mode frequency selection button and the utility at this particular spot is one foot nine inches deep. A couple of differentiating features to keep in mind is that it's lightweight, compact, and durable. The menu is screamingly simple to use and it combines fierce metal detection and active locate frequencies in one device. So thanks for joining us.